What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and this entire week Treyarch has been teasing little hints and clues about the next big update for the new Season 3 on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So today, I kind of want to recap everything we have so far for you guys in a single video, and hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am because there's so much coming, and Activision themselves have even called this upcoming update the biggest of the Black Ops 4 season yet. Let's check it out out. First off guys, the new season will be coming out this Tuesday, February 19th and the operation is called The Chase Awaits. The name sounds a little bit funky if you ask me, but I mean hey, if all the content we're getting is fun and good, then they can name it whatever the hell they want honestly. Now the Black Ops Pass owners should be getting two brand new multiplayer maps and the theme slash setting of those maps were leaked out last week by the Woo Lads. And based off their reportings, we were able to confirm that the new maps are going to be set in a LAPD police station in the middle of the city and a casino with a nighttime setting. So it does look like Treyarch is going to be following the same model of two maps a month, which is very nice to hear. I'm not sure if we're going to be getting a new specialist character. I really do hope so, but as of now, we have not yet received any teasers. There may be something coming out later this week, and if so, I definitely will report it for you guys. However, a few people do think that this image on screen that Treyarch made their profile picture to is a little patch or logo for a new specialist character. I mean, it does definitely resemble one of the patches, but I think this is actually a new prestige icon for Blackout Battle Royale. And the reason why I think that is because in the background, that's obviously the pre-game lobby for the Blackout mode, not the multiplayer game. So we do know that more ranks are going to be coming to Blackout, which has been tweeted numerous times by Vaughn. And I can definitely see them adding possibly a prestige level or just some other form of rank in the battle royale mode. And then Treyarch also changed their banner profile picture to this over on their Facebook page, which is a character I have never seen before in the Black Ops universe. And again, some people are assuming this could possibly be a new specialist character, but personally, I feel that this is a calling card that could be given out to those players who hit the max rank or prestige in levels in Blackout but we're gonna have to wait and see about that. Now to continue on with Blackout, PlayStation accidentally leaked this video of a potential LTM or new vehicles we can use in the Blackout mode. Of course, you can kind of make out a fancy little car being chased by police cars, helicopters, and yeah, so I personally believe this is teasing like a cops and robbers style limited time mode. And then speaking of game modes, League Play should also be finally live within this next update in just a few days. Hopefully no more delays guys because this is what has me the most excited about this new update. I do hope that League Play is going to kind of rejuvenate my desires to play multiplayer again actively. I'm not sure. I, I kind of want to play something like, you know, that's a bit more competitive and something that I can show off to other players that, you know, showcase my skill. So. Uh, hopefully League Play will finally be ready in this new update. And then lastly here, jumping back to Blackout, David Vonderhart tweeted out, do not tweet about the inventory quality of life updates, which I assume is just typical Vaughn teasing that the inventory interface could be getting a redesign within this update or it's possibly getting worked on in a later update. So we got a pretty huge update coming guys. This is literally scratching the surface of what's to come within the next few days. Tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Also drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching till next time. I'll see y'all later.